Brody! What's up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joe Crew DMD, and I'm here today with a very special deck playthrough dedicated to my Padawan. Brody! Brody! Bradley, if you're watching this, this video is for you, bud. I'm teaching you how to play your leader. I don't know if you guys saw my post in the DBS discussion group, but I found a young lad that declared me as his sensei when I was in Hawaii, and he picked up this game amazingly fast. I felt a lot like Vegeta when he was fighting Broly in the Broly movie. I couldn't help but think to myself, he must have learned how to use his power because every deck that we played, he just caught up faster and faster and faster. And I think he's gonna be an amazing player. And I wanted to show him this deck because his dad almost named him Broly. And I gotta show him how to play Broly because he fights like Broly. So this one's for you, buddy. And this is Wang Po's deck, the champion from Asia, one of the most amazing players in the community, an absolute legend. And of course, I have my meta token from TCG Metals. Chris, thank you for the meta token. I love this with all my heart. It's got the Wang Po special on it. And if you guys don't know what secret rares in this, hopefully you'll find out from this card. So I'm gonna do a little playthrough here. If this is your guys' first time here and you wanna see Dragon Ball Super card game content on a weekly basis, smush that subscription button. If you're a returning member of the Joe Crew, thanks for coming by and let's get into this deck playthrough. All right, so this is the leader, this is Broly. Um, basically what this guy does is you get to look through your deck for a one drop Broly and he kind of kicks off your awakening. And then once you're awakened, you draw a card, flip an energy up and uh, you can only have two battle cards in play when he is awakened. So the unison kind of helps get around that. But once you have seven cards in your drop area, every time this guy swings, you draw into your hand until you have six cards. So you can use a lot of cards defensively. And he also has an activate main once per turn. You get to pop one of your battle cards and pop one of your opponent's battle cards so lots of utility on this dude he is from starter deck eight and he has not been played that much recently he had a time in the sun but wang po and some of his friends figured out how to bring this guy back for his glory day in the hot sun all right so first things first as always we're just going to do our shuffle here the john carlos special five stacks shuffle it out and uh yeah, I think what's really cool about this deck is it uses hand control, but not in like a really degenerate, ridiculous way. Um, and it also is a hand control deck that refills its hand. So one of the things about hand control is you're often whittling your own hand down by whittling your opponent's hand. And this leader has the ability to just draw your hand back. So there's some really interesting plays you can do here in this deck that uh, were not really possible before the Unison Warrior block. So now that unisons are out, this guy has a different kind of edge. And there's a lot of really interesting stuff you can do because you're basically just drawing into a new hand each turn. So I still, I haven't actually ever even played through this. I've just watched the, I watched Wang Po play the deck a couple times. So I know a little bit about what it does. So I'm gonna try my best to not butcher this play here, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so we're gonna draw six cards to start. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, a unison, I think, is good to keep in hand on your opening hand. The one drop Broly is fine to keep uh, so we can search out something else. I think uh, this we don't want till later. Uh, a Rebrian, maybe, and maybe a Cells Command Man. Um, I think we'll send the rest of this stuff back. I really don't know. And you know, I don't have a hand across from me, so I can't really track the hand destruction that's going down on the other side, but we'll just kind of do some hand control mechanics so you can see how you use the hand control cards in this deck. So we get three more cards and then set our life. And we will roll to see who goes first. So I'm gonna roll for myself, Budori on this side. I got a five and my opponent gets a nine so they're gonna be going first uh they'll probably charge play something and pass so we'll draw for our turn choose a card in our hand and place it in our energy area we are not going to use one more more than one of these so charging one of these is fine and we'll charge the pre-release stamp guy here so charge that right there and then we're going to pay one energy and play this broly when you play this broly you take two life into your hand and then we'll just start swinging with stuff so swing here for 10 swing here for 10 and they may take those they may not take those but either way they're going to pass turn they'll probably deal one damage to us and they won't want to kill this guy because if they kill him then that allows us to awaken and we're at five now 
So they would probably pass here. We'll draw for our turn, choose a card in our hand and place it in our energy area. So I will go ahead and charge a Bupo because we're not gonna be playing two of those in one turn. And here is where stuff gets really interesting with this deck. So the Unison is a great pick for this deck because it helps get your deck going. So you can play this Bardock for two energy and he's gonna come out with two markers. Since we have another one in our hand and this deck basically dumps its hand, I'm gonna slide another one under here and put him to three. And then I'm gonna plus one on him and put him to four. Or uh, before I do that, I'll probably attack here and see if they have anything to do with that. And then I would plus one on here and go to four by KOing this card. When I KO this card, they're gonna have to choose a card in their hand and discard it. And I'm gonna have to take a life for killing him and that allows me to awaken. So now I can awaken, untap one, and draw one since I'm at four. And at this point, I think a decent play here is to just play this Paragus. And when we play this Paragus, we get to look through our top five cards for a Broly BR. Uh, and we're probably not gonna see one because I think we drew both of them. So we don't see one there. And then when this card is removed from the battle area by a skill, we get to untap one green energy. So that's pretty cool. And now we're just gonna swing with our board. So we'll swing with our leader. And since we don't have sparking seven yet, he's not gonna draw and our hands over seven anyway. And then we'll swing with our unison. So that's two 15K attacks. And here we would pass turn to our opponent. So they're gonna go. And when they go, they'll probably attack. At the first attack, we'll activate Dormant Potential Unleashed and choose a card in our hand and place it in our drop area. So I'll probably just drop this Paragus here and that's only gonna give them one more attack this turn. And if they attack, they'll probably attack into our unison. So we'll take our unison down to three markers. And then it'll be our turn, draw for our turn, choose a card in our hand and place it in the energy area. So I'll probably charge I would say charge another one of these Bupos and we'll maybe use one defensively this turn. Um, so here we can just kick things off with playing some cards where we have to play here. Actually, we don't really have much to play. So I would say in this instance, this is not a great example of how this deck goes, but I would probably just... Uh, Swing with this guy actually. And when we swing with him, we can pay one energy and use Cells Earth Destroying Kamehameha to rip a card out of their hand. And then we can plus one on our unison to pop this guy. And when he gets killed, we get an energy back. And now we're at one, two, three, four, five cards in our drop. So we need two more cards in our drop. So we can swing with our unison. Uh, combo this to make them bottom deck another card and we'll combo this to go to seven in our drop area. Now these will go into our drop area and now we're at seven in our drop area so we can swing with our leader and draw four cards back to seven cards in, or six cards in hand. And they're gonna have to deal with that swing and then uh, here we will probably just play another one of these just to do that thing. I'm not gonna search top five because I don't have any more Broly BRs. And then I will pass turn. And here when I pass turn, when the opponent swings on the first attack, pay two energy, play Bupo. And when you play Bupo, you have to choose one card in your hand and place it in your drop area. So I'm gonna drop this other Bupo. And then if they play a battle card, uh, we actually can't play any more cards because we have two cards in our battle area. But um, if they attack again, maybe we'll just dormant just to get rid of cards and drop this Majin Buu and then I'll pass turn they'll pass turn here draw for turn choose a card in our hand and place in our energy so we'll charge this Frieza since it's very pretty and then what we can do here is we can do the same thing we can actually swing with Bupo this time and when we swing with Bupo play the cells earth destroying Kamehameha and that's going to be a 25k and we get to rip a card out of their hand and then we can swing with our leader. And we swing with our leader, draw one, two, three, four, five, six. That is crazy. Um, so on the leader swing, I'd probably just combo off a, actually, I think you keep these for defense. So just 15K and then I would, uh, 
put another card under here, go to five, uh, pop this, go to six and untap an energy, attack with Bardock. And when you attack with Bardock, you can combo off a Rebrian. And then we can pay two energy for our Rebrian, warp the Rebrian, and they have to discard two. Then we would pass turn here, and when they attack us, we can defend ourselves. Um, you know, they may try and take this unison down. Let's say they take it down to three or something like that. And then if they attack on us, we can pay one for a Cells Earth Destroying Kamehameha, rip a card out of their hand. And if they choose to attack two more times, maybe they kill this somehow. And then they attack again, we make them bottom deck one, and they attack again, we make them bottom deck another one, and they attack again, and we block with our Rebrian. So now we draw for our turn, and we'll choose this card, put it on our energy. And here, we can just go right into swing with our leader, because we'll draw six cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then at this point, I think I would just go in and see what they have and pay five energy for the great eight mast San warrior. And with him, we can just swing twice. He's, uh, he's dual attack triple strike for this turn. So 240K triple strike swings. And if that wasn't enough, then we could plus one on our unison, swing with our unison and say they somehow live through all of that, then on the next turn we can dormant their first swing and pitch a Zarbon for the dormant. And then their next attack, we can just activate homicidal clones and play our meta token. And then they would pass turn, it would be our, and then maybe we would block and save the meta token by comboing because they only swung with the 10K for whatever reason, I don't know. Okay, and then our turn comes back and we untap all our cards. Uh, draw for turn, choose a card in our hand and put it in our energy area. So we'll charge this. And then I would go ahead and just play this Rebrian and they would discard two and then I would pay two energy and, oh, actually we'd have to pop this first, sorry, because we have, uh, because we have the meta token in play. So obviously, uh, swing here and combo off the meta token. And then we can pay three and play Rebrian. They have to drop two, and then we pay two more. Or I'm sorry, for Rosie. And then we pay two more for another Rebrian in our drop area. And they drop two more. And then we can swing with our leader and draw six cards. And then they're gonna have to deal with that attack. And then we will minus three give him make him 20k triple attack swing three times there swing three times here and meanwhile we can just be comboing off our whole hand to deal with it so i think that's a pretty good uh example of how hard this deck can go off and we manage to you know stay at three life obviously we're not playing with an opponent on the other side but there's a lot that this deck can do and it's really cool because you're refreshing your hand almost every turn seeing a bunch of new cards and having a bunch of options it has you know lots of different hand control options and it also is just very hard to kill and this card you can also combo it for one energy and kill anything ignoring barrier and that's what the wang post special is because you see here it's breaking the double strike i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i'm goku dmd i am a dentist i can't end the episode without doing a dental tooth tip so my dental tooth tip to you would be eating your fruits and vegetables are good actually raw vegetables and vegetables that are take work to eat they strengthen your jaw and they help teeth erupt so using your mouth on foods that aren't super processed is helpful you just want to make sure that you're not biting anything that's harder than your tooth so eat those carrots and kakarots and rabbits and radishes and napa and napa cabbage and broli and broccoli and paragus and asparagus and i'll see you guys next time This is my family, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. My best of friends, thank you so much.